I recently quoted a big 3,500 square foot home in Granite Bay, which is an upscale part of one of the counties that we serve. He had told me that he wanted two new systems with a train clean effects filtration system, plus duct work, and a way to get one guest room air when it would be occasionally occupied. The project was going to be a big one. Two systems, a five ton and a three ton, with duct work and possibly insulation blown in. Of course, I wanted the job, but if I didn't get it, I didn't get it. But I did want to talk to you guys about how I handled this job estimate and see what I could have done better. So as you listen to the story, let me know your thoughts. We've been using House Call Pro since 2016. We needed something that would let us schedule our appointments, give our text directions to our customers through Google Maps, write up estimates, send invoices, collect payment, and integrate with QuickBooks Online. But they do so much more than that too. We researched over a dozen software programs and found that their price was less than half of the bigger CRMs. House Call Pro is by far the most user-friendly for our technicians in the field too. We were able to go completely paperless and start creating professional looking estimates and invoices with our logo. House Call Pro automatically sends appointment reminders the day before the job, lets them know when we're on the way and when the call is finished. Get a free demo of the number one app for home service pros by clicking on housecallpro.com forward slash Fox Family in the description below this video. That's housecallpro.com forward slash Fox Family. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here in the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. So when I went out to this call, I noticed that it was in a prominent area of the county where homes are enormous and expensive. This particular house had an upstairs and a downstairs, and as I said before, it had about 3,500 square feet of conditioned space with very little insulation. When I went in, we talked about his project, and he seemed pretty set on variable speed systems, which for those of you who may not know, is the premium technology in our field right now. The customer did tell me that he liked us when we came out to another property of his and quoted him on a system there, but that he ultimately didn't go with us because our price was too high. He was able to find another company that gave him a mid-tier system for less money that would suit his rental just fine. He also let me know that he was getting quotes on this job from other companies out there. Unfazed, I did my usual routine of measuring the house, checking insulation levels, took note of the windows in the house, checked the ductwork, discussed another way of running ductwork to one of the rooms that was on two different zones. I also checked with the customer for areas of the house that might have hot or cold spots, checked the return sizing, and other possible ways of setting up his HVAC in the attic so that the ductwork could be run closer to the attic floor and be buried with the potential new insulation for more energy savings. So I went out to my truck and wrote up the quote. I gave him some different options, but the whole time I was there, he was just centered on a variable speed system and possibly the two-stage system. So those are the numbers that I gave him. I also quoted him on a one-to-one -one Mitsubishi wall mount or ceiling mount in the guest room. All in all, with two variable speed systems, ductwork, insulation, and the train clean effects for both of them, the quote comes up to around $40,000, give or take. When I came back in, I went through our sales book and our system options. I showed him our prices for the project, and he let me know that our price was already higher than the other companies. And did I want to see the quote for the job from the other company? I respectfully said no, uh, that I didn't need to know the pricing because I was securing my own numbers for the job, and if another company can offer you the same things that we were offering for the job, then I understand if, the, if it goes that way. On a side note, I feel like with the extras that we throw in on our job, as well as the warranties and preventive maintenance that we include, not too many companies are able to match our prices apples to apples. We finished up our conversation at the table and I told him that I was willing to work with him on the price a little bit, but that I really felt like the difference in workmanship would come through once the job was done. We parted ways and honestly, I didn't feel too good about even being contacted by him again because he seemed to be all about price and nothing else. A couple days later though, he contacted me via email asking me questions like if he can mix system furnaces with air conditioners and how much to change one of the systems to a two stage and a couple other basic questions. So I promptly answered his questions that night after work 
and was even able to get his new price down to below $40,000 for the whole job. It's a slow time of the year and I was willing to cut down on my profits to win the job and keep my guys working. The next day he asked me if I can just give him a quote for the 5 ton system and that he would do the 3 ton system later. I was able to get him a smashing deal that I thought I would take a meager but still reasonable profit for us and still make it worth doing the job. That was March 19th. On the 23rd, I just dropped him an email asking him how the bidding process was going. On the 30th, he writes me back and mind you, everyone's been going through that whole coronavirus lockdown right now, so it's been a crazy time for anybody to be thinking about replacing their HVAC system anyways. But he says, quote unquote, as you know, we've had several companies provide estimates for the HVAC system. Your estimate was very similar in equipment and price to two other companies. The fourth estimate, however, was several thousand dollars cheaper than the other three. I've gone back and forth with the estimate and the company to make sure that I wasn't missing anything because it was that much cheaper. I'm still waiting to make a decision because of this pandemic, but I'm likely to go with the lower bid. I hope you understand. I appreciate you taking the time to discuss with me all the options. I will certainly keep you in mind for the other HVAC systems uh, in my house and the attic insulation. When I get news like this, I never want to respond with my initial feelings, so I usually make myself sleep on it uh, before replying. So the next day I wrote back, Hi Mr. Jones, I can certainly understand why people want to go with the cheapest bid all the time. It's like going to Amazon because you know the price is going to be cheaper than all the retail stores. But in the case of HVAC and what's involved in your job, I would seriously consider using the middle price as long as it's a reputable company that you're comfortable working with. I know the numbers on this job, especially if you're using Train or American Standard. Someone who is several thousand dollars less than us other companies aren't netting anything. A company like that I would be leery about. Consider the service after the install, warranties, workmanship, if the company is licensed and insured. Any of us other three companies that are close in price are there because we want to be around for our customers next year when you need us. From my experience in the industry, the companies lowballing like that are here today and gone tomorrow. I really don't mind who you go with. Still, for the sake of us other three companies who are at typical market value for your project because of our reputation and our quality workmanship, I wish you would reconsider. The next day he clicked decline on our electronic estimate on House Call Pro, which I really like when people do that because it makes it easier to know which jobs we're still in the running for and which ones were not. But this one came across a little bit like a door shutting in my face. I'm not upset with the outcome. Honestly, it's a huge job with lots of foot traffic and lots of duct work, so I'm kind of glad we don't have to do it. So my question to you guys is, is there anything that you would have done different on this? I'd really like to know your thoughts, whether it's positive or negative. I want to take something away from this to make me better, but I guess I'm not sure if my final response back to him was too harsh and maybe that's why he didn't re want to respond anymore. Let me know your thoughts down below. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right and if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.